Hi everyone, this is Miss Tom with Math Minute number 90. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the math minutes. We're 10 more away from being finished. Great job, you guys. Make sure you get them done and then unpause when you are ready. All right, let's go over number one. It says a to the a equals four and a squared is what? So we're gonna write four squared and four squared is equal to not eight, because that's eight time or that's four times two. It's gonna be sixteen because it's four times four. If you got that, give yourself a star. Next, let's go over number two. Number two, we've got four x times x plus three. So we're gonna distribute that, and we're gonna notice it says four x times x, which is gonna be four x squared. Then we're gonna distribute again here, and we go four x times three is going to be. 12x. Do we combine these terms? No, we don't combine them because they are unlike. So we leave them as they are. All right, let's go under number three now. Number three, we've got all of this going on. We've got 6x, 3x, and 4. 6x plus 3x is 9x. Then we're going to add 4 is equal to 40. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that over here. We're gonna go ahead and subtract that four. What we do to one side, do the other. This is gonna make a zero pair. We end up with a nine X is equal to 36. Then lastly, we will divide by nine and we will get X is equal to four. Alrighty, very nice. So far, so good. How are you guys doing? All right, let's go over number four now. Number four says m to the second and n to the third. So we are gonna need to substitute by using parentheses. Then we go two to the third. Let's keep in mind that five squared is equal to 25 and two to the third power, that might be sounding like it's six, but it's actually two times two, which is four times another two, which is eight, so it's really 25 times eight. Now I know that sounds tricky, but think about it. If you have four quarters, how much money is that? Four quarters, that's $2. And $2 would also be written as 200 or 200 pennies. All right, let's go ahead and go over number six. Number six, we're gonna combine what we have here. We've got five X squared, y, 2x squared, y, minus 4x squared, y. If you notice, they all have the same variables, so that means we can combine everything. So 5x squared and y plus 2x squared plus and y is gonna be 7x squared, y. Then we're gonna go ahead and subtract 4x squared, y. And so we end up with 3x squared, y. All right, how are we doing so far? Are we doing well? Great. Next, let's go over number six. It says angle A. All right, so this angle is 60. This angle is 90. So what is this angle? Well, if you notice, a triangle adds to how many degrees? A triangle adds to 180. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add up 6D plus 90, which equals 150. Then we're gonna go ahead and subtract 150 from 180, we get 30. And that's our answer. Angle B has to equal 30 because that's the missing value. So angle B equals 30. All right, let's continue. Let's go over number seven. Number seven says x squared times x to the fourth times x. We've got x squared here, x to the fourth, and another x. That's gonna be how many x's? Seven x's. Next, let's go over number eight. Number eight, we've got negative three. Then we've got this square root of 36. Square root of 36 is something times itself is equal to 36. And that something is six. All right, so we're gonna times it by six, and we get 
negative 3 times 6, which will be negative 18. All right, almost done. Now we've got negative times negative 4 squared. Well, remember PEMDAS rule says we do exponents first, so we're going to do this. Exponent first means negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16. Got that. Then negative 16 is out there, and we have negative 16. All right, next one we've got x times x minus y plus xy. What is that all equal to if you know that x is negative 3? Okay, so I'm putting in x is negative 3. And then it's saying that y is negative 2. Careful with that because that's minus, and then we're going to go ahead and put in negative 2 here. And then we're going to go ahead and say plus negative 3. And what are we putting in for y? Negative 2. OK, I know this looks a little tricky, but we just got to go left to right here. So we're going to go negative 3 times. That's going to be adding the opposite here. So negative 3 means going back. Positive 2 means going forward. So we're at negative 1. Then we're going to say plus negative, six, or negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be 6. Then we've got a negative times a negative, which is 3. Plus a 6 is equal to 9. All right, so we've got an answer of 9. OK, finishing up. Which of the choices makes the best comparison? Straw is to warts, as 6, 3, 2, 3 is to what? Well, if you notice, straw is spelled S-T-R-A-W, but warts is basically the opposite. So we just need to find out which one is the opposite, which one is 6, 3, 2, 3, but red backwards, and that is C, 3, 2, 3, 6. All right, everybody, that was the end of the math minute. How did we do on it? If you did well, write it down. If you didn't, that's OK. We'll go over more tomorrow on the next Math Minute. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.